everybody, so people used to be like the authority of, you know, the classifications and where a lot of this anecdotal information could be found. So a lot of this information that we're about to go over was uh, we used Leafly as a resource. Truly, we Leafly have an amazing partnership. Uh, all of the strains that you see and that we're going to talk about, the terpenes, uh, we, we don't go off and rename or relabel any of these products, right? So if you get a Girl Scout cookie, you know, we can go right on to Leafly.com and, and actually look at Girl Scout cookies and identify those major terpenes. They actually came out with a whole new visual concept that is very terpene focused, right? So this education, what we're about to go through is to you know, apply that when you're looking through uh, resources like Leafly or your strain list and things like that. So, Drake, let's go ahead. Real quick, show hands. Who has not heard of a turkey? Who doesn't know what a turkey is? It's okay. It's okay. What's that? But 
things like mint, uh, pine, even rosemary has some pro has a small amount of uh, limonene. So you know, what we're going to find from this therapeutically, it's going to be relieving from stress, uh, anxiety, helps elevate the mood. So uh, often when we see sativa dominant uh, strains, chemovars, you're going to see a high limiting profile. Um, also, it's antibacterial and a very powerful antioxidant. Um, so actually, this isn't in your brochure, but what I found out is, uh, and what I find interesting, is that this is actually the second most abundant uh, terpene in cannabis plants, but yet it's not found in every single uh, every single strain. So. Yeah, so there, it's a little bit more uh, limited selection, but we do carry a couple of strains, a Dovey Dough and Banana OG. I know that most of those, we can find both of those in a True Clear product. True Clear is another form of concentrate, but it's an extremely versatile form of the medicine. It's an activated concentrate. So uh, most of the time when you talk about THC and, and the actual flower or the plant itself, THC is actually, it's THCA, all right? And then that THCA, once it's heated up to a certain temperature, the acid chains drop off the THC and it makes it a THC. Uh, it's an activated medicine. So when you have a THC or activated medicine, you can ingest it orally, sublingually. You don't have to heat that medicine up to, to uh, ignite all the terpenes and cannabinoids. So True Clear, uh, we, it's, a, you know, it's definitely reserved for an experienced patient. Uh, just like the rosin concentrates, you want to stay away from if you're new. But if you're using high doses, extremely uh, economical, and you get those entourage effects, right? So you can do vapor rising. You can even use uh, your True Clear topically. A dose of True Clear is a is a size of a greater right? So really proceed with caution if you're using True Clear. It's something that you don't want to. You don't even want that little string. That kind of like if you're taking out a dose, you want to stay away from that string either. That's it, it, it can throw off your dose. So um, very versatile product. Those you know, and then those you both found All right. So next one's uh, humulene. So aromas from humulene are going to be very similar to that carabine. They're earthy. They're woody. They're, they're very spicy. We're going to find things like cloves, sage, black pepper, ginseng, ginger, uh, benefits. This one actually attacks a very big punch, right? So it has antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, it's actually even been suggested to be uh, to be anti-proliferative, meaning it may help with cancer in some patients. Uh, also an appetite suppressant. Uh, most of the uh, therapeutic essential oils that you're going to see are going to have a trace of this humulene in there. So, so we know it, just, it hits on so many different therapeutic potentials. Yeah, so a couple of strains will find that in the Girl Scout cookies has that as a dominant yep. terpene. And sherbet. So uh, we have a great uh, oral product or a sublingual product that those are found in, and that's called an oral syringe. It's a 200 milligram activated medicine. So again, you can use it orally or sublingually. The cool thing about our oral syringes, it's it's a uh, infused, it's a uh, it's a uh, essentially an olive oil infused with THC, right? So you can actually incorporate this also into the kitchen. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is make a little Italian bread dip or something with, with my olive oil infused with THC. So very again, very versatile. You get more creative with the oral syringes, and it comes with a little uh, oral syringe on the side that you can get a specific dose out of. If you need a seven milligram dose of your medicine, you can take that oral syringe and identify that uh, right on the oral syringe. Very easy to get specific dose out. Okay, so uh, moving on, so myrcene is going to be the, the next one that we cover. And this one, like I mentioned, with limonene being the second most abundant therapy, myrcene is the first, right? So we are going to find this to be very earthy. It's musky. It's, it's even sometimes fruity. So we're going to find it in high concentrations. Mangoes is probably the best example where you're going to find mercy naturally occurring. Uh, basil is found in lemongrass, thyme. Uh, so it's an anti-inflammatory. Again, many benefits with, with uh, mercy. Helps prevent against oxidative damage, uh, which, which pretty much everyone is exposed to oxidative damage. So mercy is going to really help with that. Uh, it's extremely sedating. It relaxes the body. So when you think of that, like that couch lock or that stone kind of feeling, that's mercy, right? So as like I mentioned with limonene, that's more maybe uh, uplifting. You have more of that cerebral head high. This is the opposite. That's that couch lock, that stone effect. Uh, and also, if you have neuropic pain, this is a really great uh, terpene for that. So it really just helps the body shut down, helps you relax. Uh, interesting fact about mercy: if you eat a mango uh, before smoking, it can actually enhance 
Mr. Buzz. So I know Publix is going to run out of mangoes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but it does. It, you know, with, with all terpenes, uh, like Andrew was saying, they work synergistically with cannabinoids. And this is this is definitely one of them that you're going to find uh, doing that doing that function. So. Yeah, and then so Mercy is one of like like it says in your brochure. It's one of the most abundant terpenes and found in a lot of different strains. So. Uh, you'll find mercy is probably going to be the dominant terpene in like an indica, but it could even be like a like one of the like in the top three for a sativa. There are sativa strains out there that still provide a lot of pain relief. So uh, like Blue Dream is a sativa that does that. Uh, but, so I wanted to highlight nine pound hammer on this. Nine pound hammer. Uh, Mercy is definitely the, the, the dominant terpene in that profile. And nine pound hammer, you can find it in almost every single one of our uh, products. It's going to be. Yes. Our staple in the actually I thought Amber yes. by far we look at the like when I look at what's being what's going out, what patients are using, I thought hammer is always at the top of the list there. Yeah, I thought mean, hammer I use the flower for instance really it, it helps me get to sleep really quick. Um, so mercy, awesome, and and it's all all of its different varieties. Alright, so uh, little so this one this one's I think I find it to be a patient favorite. So uh, lavender is where we're going to get our minimal. It's got that very floral aroma. Sometimes it can even be described as spicy. Uh, but again, we're going to find this in lavender, uh, mint, and even cinnamon has a, a few trace amounts of minimal. Uh, you're really going to know that it's, it's, it's known for its, it's, very, it's pain relief, uh, for being sedating, being relaxing. Um, which, why it can do that, part of the reason, I, which I find very interesting, is that uh, it actually reduces the signaling strength uh, of a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. Um, so that's a brain chemical that's required for muscle relaxation uh, and movement. So also acetylcholine, interestingly, is responsible for, for nausea, right? So if you are nauseated, you have a high degree of acetylcholine, and, and, and linolol can help us uh, sort of run through that, and, and, and really that's going to help you work on that, on that nausea uh, Yeah, yeah, so I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, that's a really cool thing about Little Wool, so. Yeah, so Little Wool is, is a dominant turkey that's Dozy Uh So I wanted to highlight like, Dozy Do, uh, a lot of patients are using the True Pod that the Dozy Do variation comes in. So the True Pod is a 800 milligram bait cartridge. It's like a really large bait cartridge. It's just cannabis oil and terpenes in there. So it's kind of big. If you think about it in the same way with those concentrate words, you know, one one little draw, if we do a three second draw on a on a big thing like a true pod, it's gonna give you two and a half milligrams, which is almost double what your most of your regular big things are gonna provide. So you know, if you're switching over to or if you're using a true pod, it, you're gonna be able to save a lot of money in the long run by your taking half the amount of medicine that you would use this day. Okay, uh, so wrapping up, so timing. All right, this one's kind of a given. Uh, it's going to have a very fine uh, aroma to it. It's found in, in even in rose things like rosemary. Um, mint is a very, very powerful bronchiodilator. So again, you know, think about when you're walking through that pine forest, right? What do you think of being able to take a big deep breath in? It's because of the pine heat, right? And uh, so for therapeutically, we can use this for, uh, you know, as an anti-anxiety, as a, again, as a bronchiodilator. Um, it can even be very hypnotic. Uh, so, so what's interesting about this is that it actually might help combat some of the short-term memory loss that, is, that occurs with THC. Um, and also, this is the most aromatic terpene uh, of them all, is piney. Yeah, that makes yeah. very strong terpene. Uh, so, a couple of strains that you'll see piney in is harlequin and remedy. So, both of those are more CBD-dominant strains, actually. We're not even really THC without lighting, you'll find it a lot of, uh, you'll find it sativas, it's also a common characteristic, but uh, for, for the education purpose here, uh, you got the, the Harlequin and Remedy, we do carry a CBD tincture, and it's very easy, a CBD tincture goes underneath the tongue, one drop, one milligram of CBD. Uh, we also carry ratio products that you'll find, Harlequin, GP, and uh, we have a one-to-one -one ratio, which is a half a milligram of THC and a half a milligram of CBD. You'll see a lot of uh, patients that are new to cannabis will start off on CBD and ratio products before they go into like things like, like True Clear or your you know. Okay, so last one, uh, Osamine. So this one's got a very sweet uh, 
aroma, citrusy, even earthy. Uh, it's found in, in, in high concentrations in grapefruits and again other citrus fruits. It's an anti-inflammatory and has very uplifting effects. So that would be great for anxiety and depression. Uh, and interestingly, this one is found in uh, almost all plants as small trace amounts of oxygen. So oxamine is really common in sativa strains. So if you need a medicine for the daytime, it's probably going to be you're probably going to have oxamine as one of those top terpenes in there. And so we carry Clementine and Green Crack are two of those uh, oxamine uh, strains that are that are dominant there. CO2s are going to be where you find those uh, strains. Uh, CO2, if you see a CO2 product, we have CO2 two clear. We have CO2 vape uh, cartridges. That just means that there are uh, uh, cannabis derived terpenes in there. So, possibly the, the, the benefits that you get here are going to be you know, full force and you know, very prominent. Yeah, so, and guys, we've got all of these products that Andrew was talking about. Uh, we've got some demo bottles, so no live product yeah. here. Uh, but uh, if you guys can come up and have any hands on these things, see these, you know, can I see the teacher, can I see what uh, the cartridge is going to look like, uh, the flower pot, all of that's up here. We're going to be here to help answer questions. Um, I uh, also, too, if you guys need to talk about making an appointment to become a medical marijuana patient, I can help you out with that um, as well. Or if you have questions about the Can Academy or how to enroll, how to become a student, we're going to be up here for that as well. So. Absolutely. And then, uh, if anybody ever wants to learn more about the products that Truly has to offer or is looking for some more education or how to you know, become a uh, patient, also, you can have our closest location to here is going to be in West Palm Beach. Off of uh, North Military Trail, and we have show you at Bellevue, 1322. I got some location cards. We have an amazing staff. So even if you're not a medical patient and uh, you're just looking for information, definitely feel free to stop by and, and uh, get some of that information. All right, cool. All right, All right guys. Uh, so what's what's next? We've got about how much time do we have left here? Uh, yeah. So we got we got yeah like 20 minutes left or so. So definitely. Uh, feel free to get some more tacos if you want, some more drinks, and then we also we'll be up here uh, talking more about products. So. Yeah, thank, thank you all. Thank you guys for